Turkish baths and spa treatment rooms on Parliament Street in the heart of Harrogate. And we're going to be finding out a little bit more about how you can pamper yourself in the lead up to Valentine's Day. Now I'm here talking to Katie, who's going to tell us a little bit more about the Turkish baths. But first of all, she's going to unveil a little bit of the history about the baths. So hi Katie. Hi there. Um, Turkish Baths first opened in 1897 um, and it's gone through loads of changes since it first opened. Um, in 2002 the treatment area all got built on and then 2004 it was restored to its original glory um, which is where all the stencil work and things have been put back on after it was painted over for many years. So tell us a little bit about the kind of packages and, and beauty treatments that people can get here. Okay, we do many different treatments here. The main thing we offer is the Turkish Baths itself. Um, which is all original and very unique in Britain. There's no other really working baths that's as historical as we are. Then you can move on and do different treatments. We've got about 50 odd different treatments that we do that range from simple things like manicures and pedicures to facials, body wraps, and we do full day packages here as well. So I walk through the door, uh, me and my lovely wife, what's the first thing that we would experience here at the Turkish Baths? You get welcomed by our lovely reception team and they look after you they welcome you in, they take you through to the Turkish baths. You then um, get shown around by the, our attendants who explain how to use everything because there is a little routine that you have to follow um, to get the most benefit from the baths. And then from there you would then be taken by the attendants for your treatments. And then for your treatments you can go to the spa room where you can have a little jacuzzi. And um, we also do things like lunches here and you can just spend the entire day relaxing here. That sounds like an amazing thing to do. So the first thing then we need to do is go trot off to the steam rooms and have a good look around at what you can get in the Turkish baths. So now you find us here in the Frigidarium, which is also known as the restroom. Now, I'm here with Sarah, another one of the beauty therapists here, yeah. who's going to tell us how you actually manage to get into the restroom. Okay, so you'll start off with a nice long hot shower and then you work your way through the free dry heat chamber rooms. So they all interlink each other and they get hotter as you work your way through them. Okay. And um, you could go in the steam room that's filled with eucalyptus and then take a nice dip in the cold plunge pool. <laughs> wow. And then to finish off, you'll come in the rest bed area to relax and get your body temperature down to normal. Maybe put a nice face mask on and just relax before you go off to one of your treatments. That sounds fantastic. Now, for the sessions that you run just here, are they for both men and for women? Yep, yeah, men and women. We have mixed sessions, ladies only and men only. Ah, so there's men only sessions and women only sessions, so you've got to be careful for that one. <laughs> and so when you get one of the beauty treatments in here, one of the facials, how, how does that work? Um, one of the Turkish attendants will come and get you from the rest bed area and you'll go off to one of the treatment rooms for a package or a massage. Sounds fantastic. Yeah. So you go from here to, say, the Dutchy Room yeah. to have one of the fantastic packages. Yeah. Right, let's go and have a look at the Dutchy Room then. And I'm talking to one of the beauty therapists, Sarah, who's going to tell me a little bit more about what happens after we've come out of the steam room. Hi, Sarah. Hello, and welcome to the Dutchy, where I perform my treatments all day here. Um, just basically get the clients coming up from the baths after they've relaxed in there for two to three hours um, with the different heats and they come up and they book whatever treatment they have. A lot of people finding the packages very popular at the moment which is a great way to start 2011 with a full three hours of relaxation. Um, we do a half day of beauty where they have facial, a full body massage, and then finally finish with a manicure or a pedicure of their choice. Fantastic. So is this available for both a man and a woman? Yep. So is it quite popular with the gents? Men love it because they love the steam and the heat for their muscles. A lot book a massage afterwards. Um, we're doing a full Valentine's package for both couples. So they can come in, both in the same treatment room, and have that massage finish with a bit of bubbly in the spa room afterwards where you can hop in the jacuzzi and just relax after the massage. Fantastic. So that sounds like a very romantic thing to do. Man, wife, beautiful massage, wonderful bubbly. Sounds absolutely fantastic. It will be perfect. Thank you very much, Sarah. Thank you. So we're here in the fountain spa room where there's a most amazing relaxation can happen. There's a jacuzzi over here. But I'm going to go and speak to Julie, who's going to tell me all about the wonderful things that happen here in the Fountain Spa Room. Hello, Julie. Hi. Tell me about the relaxing things that can happen in this wonderful Fountain Spa Room. Well, there's a nice jacuzzi there, so you can relax in there either before or after your treatments. 
Um, you can also purchase refreshments from the Winter Garden and then we can bring them to you and you can have them in here. You can get refreshments brought to you here in the Fountain Spa Room? Yes, you can. What kind of wonderful things could I have and enjoy in the Fountain Spa Room? Um, we have a nice selection of cakes, lots of different coffees, cappuccinos and Americanos and a selection of teas as well. That's wonderful. So you come to the Fountain Spa Room, you have a wonderful relax, you drink a wonderful refreshing drink and if you want to you can be in the jacuzzi as well. You can, but if you want to have something more substantial to eat, if you're here all day and want some lunch, um, you can actually go to the Chinese restaurant next door, so the doors will be open for you and you can go in your robes and slippers and you can have um, a lunch. So when you go across for the meal and you're in your robes and you've just come out of the jacuzzi, yes. uh, it seems a bit strange to be mixing with the general public. It's a private area in the restaurant. Oh really? So it's interconnecting doors as well, so you're not going to go outside, you're literally just going to go into the private restaurant area. So there's a private restaurant area where you can have some wonderful food after relaxing in the wonderful jacuzzi, after having an amazing treatment, after being in the steam. That sounds like a fantastic package for a, a nice romantic time. Absolutely. So this is the Fountain Spa Room and it's a wonderful place to relax. So let's have a bit more of a look around at the Turkish Baths. 